All right, so, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, listen, I hope y'all enjoyed that Chris Rock video and whatnot. We was over here getting it done, handling our business, doing what it is that we do, right? But in the meantime, I wanted to stand here and, you know what I mean, drop you another video on some economic shit because I found a place that we can stand here and look at all the fucking layoffs that's going on in the motherfucking country. And I feel like it's important that we continue doing this shit, right? So... Without further ado, let's take a look at what's going on. Well, today, total uh, total layoff for just this month is 6,184 nationwide, right? And we had, we localized in Houston, had 100 jobs dropped, which is, um, it's a company that they stand here and basically they reutilize media for international use. Right, I don't know like exactly. It sounds like something you could do with an app, I'll be real with you. Um, US Steel in Chicago, Indiana announced it's gonna be laying off a hundred hundred and fifty workers. Arcelor Middle in West Virginia is laying off a hundred workers. Lake Worth Beach uh is gonna be laying off a hundred workers, right? Ventures Incorporated is gonna be laying off a hundred and fifty two workers. Uh, Cisco RTP campus is going to be laying off a bunch of people. I don't know what the situation is. Edmund School Board approves layoffs and program cuts. Well, this one here has to do with the pension crisis that we've been covering over the past, you know, I mean, two years or so that we've been having this conversation. <sighs> I told you <laughs> Look what the situation was. Uh, AMC, cor AMC 35 corporate jobs, which is a movie company, ESPN International. It's laying off 30 people. Georgia Pacific in Crossit, Arkansas is going to be laden off 25 people. ED Distribution Center is going to be laden off 40 people, right? Um, I think these individuals here, they make car parts. Again, this is more of this nonsense, like you know, the auto market is being destroyed right now. Uh, Santander is doing, you know, uh, laying off 80 U.S. mortgage jobs. <sighs> Man, look, y'all thought that, you know what I'm saying, it was going to be like us low-class workers wasn't going to be laid off first? Uh-uh, buddy, they're coming for y'all. <laughs> Arcelor Middle, 10 mil in Weirden, West Virginia, 100 workers. South Point Bay, CNX Resources Corps. <sighs> Again, you know, I mean, another 48 workers. Bloom Bloomfield Schools, layoffs possible. You know the situation. They come in for them. And I mean, like, man, look, you know, they don't have the money to be able to continue to pay pensions and pay teachers. It is what it is. Comscore is laying off 8% of its workforce. This is important. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, we keep looking at what's going on. Netflix, uh, Netflix rewards five layoffs. Uh, kids and family executives. Uh, Vertive Group uh, Group Corp, 120. GameStop laying off 100 people. And listen, that was announced uh, the 21st of August. Uh, U.S. Steel, Michigan plant, up to 200 workers. We already covered that. Uh, Disney Fox Studios, 100 workers. And if you don't know what's going on with this, this is a, this is a plant that made steel for the U.S. auto market, which is being destroyed right now. Ultimate nutrition layoffs and closings. Nestle Wesson, 70 people. U.S. Steel Corp, more temp layoffs in September. August 17th, Twin River Casino, Rhode Island is going to be laying off 20 people. Cato Fresh Kitchen operated Operations is going to be laying off 50 people. Spice Works, layoffs expect, expected. Update, Google, Gadsden, Alabama, 175 people are getting laid off. Conifer Re uh, Revenue Cycle Solutions in Tacoma, 169 people. Uh, Cisco, 480 in Bay Area locations. North Carolina Department of Transportation plans thousands of layoffs. Mm. that's most definitely a fucking new one not absolutely sure like why the fuck that is you know what i mean but that's gonna be the situation uh ups 64 accounting jobs in copal uh costar group incorporated 100 jobs Kraft heinz is laying off 400 positions <sighs> yo the economy is slowing down we had these conversations and we keep having these conversations <sighs> It is what it is. Nor Jackson Amazon Distribution Center in Ohio is laying off eight workers. Uh, H High Crush LLC in Whitehall, Wisconsin, 35 to 40 workers. Mid-South Bank is going to be laying off 90 workers. Owens Community College, five workers. That might not be a bad thing. Um, Western Union, layoffs possible. No shit. Who still uses Western Union? 
Tyson Fresh Meats Plants in Holcomb, Kansas, layoffs due to fire. And plant fire down there, apparently. Um, update, Entertainment Partners, 82 layoffs. Honeywell Aerospace in New Mexico is going to have possible layoffs coming up. That was announced on October or August 10th. Nobody heard about any of this stuff. Wells Fargo to shrink customer service office in Shoreview, 400 workers. European Wax Center uh, in Florida, 100 workers. A123 Systems LLC in Michigan, 42 workers. That's tied to uh, the car, uh, the auto industry. Update, North Carolina virtual schools, no teacher layoffs. Well, that's not bad. Uh, Cryos Energy, 74 workers. They're having a problem in the energy sector, and they're not really making enough fucking money. I don't know why, what the situation is. I believe it's because they have to update all the lines and, you know, I mean, bury everything underground in a lot of these places, and they just don't have the money to do it because people aren't paying the fucking bills. Like, it is what it is. E! News is laying off 20 to 25 people. Thank God, right? <laughs> Integris, 171 corporation non-clinical positions. That's important. That sounds like it's all going to be uh, management. ABM uh, Aviation Incorporated, 79. NPR's newsroom, some job cuts. <sighs> Leftism doesn't sell. You know what I'm saying? Yo, blue haired, pussy hat wearing people don't got no money. <laughs> Beaumont is laying off 175 workers. Update Whiting Petroleum Corp in North Dakota is laying off 100 people. <sighs> Man, look. Um, if you haven't checked the price of oil here recently, it's below $60 a barrel. And anything below $60 a barrel, they're not operating at a profit. Next on America, some layoffs, no idea what the numbers are. Purdue Pharma and Durham, layoffs possible. Well, yeah, you know, I mean, they know that they just lost that case too as well. So they're paying the $10 billion fucking fine. So expect monster layoffs coming up with them. Uh, Kenna Metal Incorporated, Carbidite Plant layoffs start in October. Supplier, Martin Rhea International uh, Incorporated in Kentucky, 192 people. Thomas built buses, high point facilities, North Carolina. <sighs> Yo, there's less kids. You know what I mean? North Carolina virtual teachers, 220 layoff notices. Roseburg Forest Plants, Dillard Plywood Plant, 90 layoffs. Oh, and with this Tom Bill's buses, school districts are not replacing their buses anymore. They're putting stuff off because, you know, they can't afford, you know, the uh, pensions. Again, like they're doing everything they can, you know, I mean, not to have this conversation, but eventually it's going to come out. Uh, Terminex, 99 people from a call center. That's weird. <laughs> like, yo, Whiting Oil and Gas, 254 people. Uh, for uh, Roseburg Forest Products, Dillard Plywood Plant, 90 layoffs. Disney, several layoffs at 20th Century Studios, 250 up to date. Uh, GameStop, 50 layoffs. Lowe's, layoffs, outsourced jobs to third-party companies. This is a normal thing. Um, NLMK, L uh, NLMK, yeah, Pennsylvania layoffs coming. <sighs> That's to be expected. You know, I mean, Zillify layoffs at corporate offices in Seattle, Columbus. And IFB Solutions in Winston-Salem, uh, 137 jobs. So altogether, I just read off 6,000-some jobs that are going to be lost this month. And, you know, I mean, we feel bad for those who have lost their gigs. And, I mean, and, you know, it's a downturn in the retail sector, but nobody wants to have that conversation. It is what it is. Like, that's just part of life, you know what I mean, at this point. We have to stand here and have this conversation and be able to talk about things and I need to be able to bring this to you and show you what's going on and I'd like to have you guys be up to date about what's up you know because who knows maybe one of y'all work for one of these companies you know what I mean maybe I read off one of your jobs here and if I did you know what I mean be in the comments section you know and I'm sure all of us will help you try and find something new give you some ideas about where to go but in the meantime, it is what it is. I apologize. I'm yawning, man. I've been working my balls off past two days. That's where I have been. But it is what it is. Now, I'm sorry for all those who lost their jobs and all the individuals who have stood here, you know, and are losing their lifestyle and their way of living. You know what I mean? And we don't really have a way of making it up to you or a real future for you. But in the meantime, enjoy this content.
You know what I mean? Because it's all I got to offer you. <laughs> Tom, peace. Peace be like one. Later.